Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for December 24th, 2022. The character The Watcher and the mod are specialized, start with 5 copies of a single card. Diverse cards are not restricted by your character. In terminal, one of you enter in your room, lose 1 max HP, start each combat with 5 plated armor. So specialized makes it hard to go for Highland and diverse makes it hard to go for collective bonuses. So that might be a difficulty there. We got Vorpal here with 1209. That's a pretty good score. Let's read the scores from yesterday. So Vorpal made it into top 20 with 1441, tied with two other people. Really good score. Perfected everything. Um, missed the I like shiny modifier though. So Vorpal avoided the Necronomicon curse because Vorpal didn't want to have the situation where you can't go, you can't have sort of uh, an infinite going with the unseason top because of the curse. Now I didn't do that and I did did suffer a little bit because of that but i don't think that really changed my run too much um, so theoretically another 50 points would have been possible a uh, 14 91 which would have put warp on 11th place and i think that's pretty much a theoretical maximum so i am pretty confident that everything beyond that is is not a legit score um, but yeah, I also was able to get, um, if I had perfected the Act 2 boss, which I think some people pointed out I might have been able to if I played a little smarter, uh, I would have had 1466, which would have tied me with 12 plates, and I also missed one elite, so one more elite on top of that would have also given me 1491, which again makes me think that that is the theoretical maximum. But still, pretty good score, congratulations to Vorpal. Pelts and Monkey Bone tied at uh, 1420. Monkey Bone also missed the I Like Shiny modifier, which I think would have also put him in the 1470 range, um, so yeah, just got a little unlucky there. Um, Rado here with 1414 is pretty good. Um, further down, uh, yeah, I'm here, 43rd. So I, I'm surprisingly only perfected two of the three elites, but I still end up in 43rd place. And then somebody like Equi perfected everything and didn't make it to the top 100. So there, there are definitely some uh, variation in the scores. Um, further down, you had um, George here with 1316. Not bad, and then just barely missing the top 100 is Equi here in 111th place with 1291. Equi, as I mentioned, perfected all the bosses, went, tried to go for collector bonuses, and I surprisingly got three of them, which is very impressive given that it was a run with two colors. Um, and then Steven also with 13 one, pretty good score. Uh, people who didn't make in top 100, uh, Malazan had 1236, uh, missed the boss and two elites, but had a fun run. I think yesterday it was a lot of fun run. Um, Shadow pointed out that there were a lot of rare. Yeah, so there were a lot of rare relics offered, which um, made, I think, the whole fun, uh, the whole run a lot of fun. Um, and then Navasha didn't do so well, only perfected one boss, got 1118, um, and also got Neil Roy's Codex instead of the Necronomicon uh, relic, which uh, definitely sounds much more annoying. Um, and then Ole also pointed out that I could have perfected the Act 1 Elite 2, so I definitely could have had a higher score. Anyway, let's move on today with Specialized and Diverse. So, oof, boy, I got five copies of Rupture. Oh man, I am thinking the best thing to do is to try to remove all of them because it's going to be hard to get cards that will, you know, make the rupture be very useful. In terms of elites, there are two two elite paths. If I go on the left, I'll get two question mark rooms. If I go on the right, I'll get one, two, three question mark rooms. And I can't cross over from left to right, right? So yeah, I guess I'll go on the right. It does mean there's going to be an early shop. Uh, but that's fine, I guess. And I, I, I do want to remove probably... I, I want to start removing the ruptures at the shops because I don't think there's a reason to hang on to them. All right, so seven incoming. I don't think I can kill... Wait, 24, 30, uh, 30, uh, 3. No, I'm a little off from being able to kill. Uh, so let's just defend and... Ooh, that's not what I meant to play. I meant to double strike there. That's fine. Mm -hmm. 11. Yeah, see, I'm losing HP here. Well, at least as soon as I lose HP from a card, I'll gain three strength every time. That's unfortunately not going to happen. I probably should play the Rupture just to free up my draw pile. Otherwise, it's just going to clog up my hand. All right. Almost fully defended here. The next one, I should get the Eruption. That should allow me to kill. Um, all right. Not quite enough, but close. Mm -hmm. And then this is enough. Yeah, that's the problem when you have five useless powers. Pressure point sweeping him dash. Dash is pretty good. Let's take that. And then here I'll take my first curse. Doubt. Now, if that was the pain curse, I might have kept the ruptures, but yeah, no, not, not without pain. All right. 30 incoming. I'm not being attacked. Oh, great. I was hoping to get the eruption here, but I didn't. Although eruption strike would be an... Oh, okay, fine. And next round will be weakened too, which is going to make it a little harder. But another attack card should be enough. Good. Okay. All right, Catalyst, Claw, Dagger Throw. Definitely not Catalyst, probably not Claw. Let's go with the Dagger Throw. 
All right, so here I think I'll go for the second curse injury as well as golden idol. And we struck 25% more gold. Now, I already have two unique curses. Actually, let me do a regular fight before I do the shop. Might be hard to go for five unique curses, but I mean, I have to try it. Also, it might be annoying to have this many, uh, this many, what do you call it, curses this early on in the deck. It will definitely clog it up, but, you know, that's fine. Let's play the rupture again to just get rid of it, really. Hmm, nine incoming. I don't think I can kill, especially not if I'm weakened, right? So let's just do vigilance and another rupture. I probably should have played a strike instead of the rupture. Okay, 12. I'll, I can do dagger throw, another vigilance. Uh, yeah, fine, fine. Mm -hmm. I need the eruption and a strike to kill here. Good. Okay, got a stand shift potion, double energy, simmering fury, body slam. Not a huge fan of any of them. Maybe the double energy. It helped a lot yesterday. Okay. I really want to remove the one of the one of the ruptures. Let me take the Ori. That's pretty good. I can also afford. Actually, I can afford all of these. Cards are good too. Let's take the Ori. See what I get here. Ball lightning compelled over heal hook. Hmm. Oh, this one is tough, though. I'm not sure of any of those. Crescendo might be good. Let's take Crescendo, and then I'll take a Halt here. Okay. Foresight, Tranquility, Exper uh, and Scrape. Wait, what? I said Foresight. I meant Tranquility, Expertise, and Scrape. I'm not sure where Foresight came from. Let's take the Tranquility. Skim might be good if I had extra energy. Let's take the Endless Agony. And then here, I don't have any orbs, right? So this makes really sense to go for Ball Lightning. Uh, for the Compile Driver. So maybe Ball Lightning is better. Okay. And then, so the other question is, do I want to take another uh, Relic or do I want to take cards? Because there's some good cards here. I think I'll take another Relic. Let's take the Bag of Marbles. Let the Savage come out of one vulnerable tall enemies. That might be pretty good. I don't think I need extra energy on turn one. I just have to make sure my turn one is nice. Mm -hmm. All right, Lagavulin is actually good because I can play the Ruptures and just wait. All right, seven incoming. I don't think I'll play the double energy here. So I think I'll wait one more turn. Okay. And then here, I might as well wake. So let's do Ball Lightning, play the Antlers Agony, and a Strike. Do I want to do Tranquility? A little dangerous. No, let's keep it in case I need to... Actually, you know what? I have a Stanship Potion too, so let's play it now. 18. Um, so I can fully defend with the Vigilance and Defend. So let's do Eruption, then... Um, yeah, Vigilance and Defend. Okay. I just need to make sure I have enough defense next turn. Yeah, I do not. Any way I can kill, because I do have a crescendo. What would I have to draw? Actually, no, there's no way I can kill, right? So even if I enter Wrath, this is only 30 damage total. And I need another, what, 53 on top of that. So there's no way to fully defend. Let's get rid of the doubt. Uh, yeah, I guess I can do Ball Lightning, Strike, and that's fine. Yeah, so it's, it would have been very difficult to perfect this one. Um, here, I think I'll do Eruption. I don't even need double energy, right? Yeah, I think I'll do Crescendo, then Eruption, then Strike, and then hopefully I'll have enough to kill next turn. I won't need much. Yeah, Dash is enough. Good. All right, didn't perfect this one, but we got Dreamcatcher. One of you rest, we may add a card into your deck, an Attack Potion, an Empty Body for a way to exit Wrath. That seems like a good idea. Mm -hmm. Another shop where I can't afford anything, including something as good as Tungsten Rod or Talk to the Hand. That's a bummer. I can't afford the third eye, so I can take it. Or actually, let me take the block push instead. That might be a little better to help me perfect. Who's my boss, by the way? Guardian. Yeah, I might need that block push for the Guardian. That symbol. And then when adding cards into your deck, you may raise your max HP by two instead. Okay. I got the Fungi Beast here. Let's do Ball Lightning, Strike. And um, yeah, let's just kill this guy with another Strike. Okay. 13. I can do Eruption and uh, another Strike. Good. Okay, Hyper Beam. Ooh, that is a good rare card. That's a really good rare card. Let me take it, and then if I don't take any other rare cards, I'll just remove it in Act, one, uh, act 3. Although I guess I just added on to all the ruptures that I want to remove. Might not have been the smartest play there. Let's do Dagger Throw. Play the Endless Agonies. Defend and Strike. Okay. Mm hmm. And then here I can just double... Oh, no, double strike is not enough. Um, well, I can full it if I'm with the empty body. Mm -hmm. And then this turn I can... Wow, look at this hand. Look at how many ruptures I have and nothing I can do with them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I can kill here with the eruption. Good. 
All right, we got a fire potion, which I don't think... Actually, no, I don't think I'll take. Cool-headed compile driver, shockwave. Shockwave is not a bad idea. Cool-headed might be better for Carter, though. Okay. And then sentries. Uh, nine incoming. I can fully defend here. Let's do dagger throw. Yeah, I think I'll just defend and strike. I'm hoping to draw the hyper beam. If I don't draw the hyper beam, I'll drink the attack potion, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's Hyperbeam with the Eruption. That That is enough to kill everything, right? Yep. Awesome. That's exactly why I want to take it. Got Wild Lightning before I take that. Let's see what I get here. Blur, well Plants, Plants, Dagger Throw. I already have the Dagger Throw. Between well Plants and Blur, I think I need Blur. For the upcoming boss, Blur might be better, though. And the Bottle Lightning, I'll pick up to the skill search. Come with this card in your hand. I think that should be the Crescendo, because that might allow me to enter Wrath and use the Vulnerability on turn one. Hmm. Uh, like here. That's exactly what I wanted to have that. Uh, liquid bronze, I don't think I'll need. Backflip, eviscerate, or swap boomerang. Let's take the backflip. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then spike slime, another hyper beam on turn one. I'm loving this. All right, 78 damage, not bad. Another sensor potion, which I don't need. And I think I'll take... I'm really worried against against the um, guardian. So let's take the dodge and roll, even though I don't really have any, any um, extra decks. And then let me upgrade that crescendo because it's always in my opening hand anyway. Okay. All right, starting off with the guardian. I think I'll risk entering or playing the eruption here. Make it a little easier to transform next turn. In worst case, I have an attack potion and a stance shift potion. So actually, I do need to play the vigilance, right? Uh oh. Um. So I don't have many ways to exit wrath. I guess I have the stance shift potion after all. So let's do dash. And then strike. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is what I was worried about, right? Um, let's do backflip. See if that gives me tranquility. That's what I need. Um, there's nothing else. I can't do something like hyper beam and then tranquility, right? Because then I'll lose too much HP. Yeah, that's a bummer. All right. Let's just do tranquility and nothing else. Okay. Next turn, I have to defend against 16, though. And I don't have enough. I might need the block potion here. I don't think any double energy. Let's do Rupture. Can I do something like, if I do Crescendo, then Halt. That's 12. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to waste the Crescendo. Just so I save the Block Potion for later. Because I'm really worried I might need a Block Potion later on. Alright, let's enter Calm again. Yeah, that's a, a bit of a bummer because I sort of wasted that Crescendo. But I think that's a smart play there. Alright. Actually, I think I can fully defend here if I do... Wait, I can't transform, right? Let's do Empty Body. Then Blur, Dodge and Roll. That is enough to be fully defended. And then I can do Rupture and I don't want to... Well, let's do Dagger Throw and get rid of the card I draw. Mm -hmm. All right. Need to deal a bunch of damage here at least. Ah, oh, boy. This might be a problem. This might be a big problem because I'm weakened next turn. Let me drink the Attack Potion now. Perfected Strike might not be that great. But it's better than the Slice. Oh, boy. I am not feeling good about next turn. I'm be, I'll be weakened and I have to deal 27 damage, right? Uh, or, or I have to defend against 32. Is that possible? I have 9, 17. Another 3 is 20. Uh, that would be 32. I mean, if I don't have any other choice. Let me see if the backflip magically gives me anything amazing. Um, empty body. Wait, can I do Miracle Vigilance, then Empty Body? That's 29. And then Halt. Okay, that is enough. You. All right. Uh, and then I can even play the attacks. I will keep one of the Atlas Agonies. I don't think I need to play both. All right. Um, do I want to do Hyper Beam? Or actually, no. Let's do Ball Lightning instead. Um, hang on. 17, 16. Okay, let's do Strike, Ball Lightning, and then the Dagger Throw. Okay. I still have my Block Potion. That's sort of what I wanted to save. Okay, I got Blur Defend. That's really good for next turn. I don't want to play any attacks because I don't want to make the... Um, I don't want to lose the block I have next turn. So I have 11 right now. Dash is enough. Perfect. Okay, so that's 18. I can even do Cool Headed. That'll deal damage and gives me... Uh, wait, so 18, 20. I can even play one of the Antisagonies. Good. Hmm? All right, another 20. I might have to... Oh, I can't do Hyper Beam with Eruption here. I might be done for. Yeah, because the block potion only gives me 12 block. And I have 7 right now, so that's 20. Uh, that's 19, not 20. Mm, I think I can do here, right? 
And I don't want to play the Hyper Beam because then I lose the HP. All right, fine. Let's just double strike here and nothing else. I don't... I'm, I'll save the block potion. If there's no way I can perfect, then no reason to use it. But I guess I lost some uh, plated armor for that. All right, play the Endless Agony, Stagger Throw. Um, I guess I'll do Vigilance, okay? Mm -hmm. 32 again. Um, I think I'll do Empty Body and then just play a bunch of cards. Perfected Strike, Ball Lightning, Endless Agonies. Mm -hmm. I have to be careful not to die here because I'm not doing so well. Uh, let's do Strike, Blur, and Dodge and Roll, okay? So at least allow me to be fully defended next turn can even play an attack or two let's do dash and um i don't i don't really need need backflip so i'll wait mm -hmm. all right uh 16 let's do actually well let's do double energy and hope i get something good with cool headed i did not well i guess it's good that i'm not perfecting you know what i'm gonna do hyper beam now uh because i feel like i need to kill quickly otherwise i'll die 20 incoming um all right let's do blur halt dodge and roll and then a strike. Okay. Mm, I'm getting a little close to death here. Uncomfortably close. Let's do ball lightning, strike, play the endless agonies. And then I think another decent... Well, actually, I need 13 damage. Okay, good. I got the eruption. All right. Well, I went from trying to perfect to trying to survive. But I did survive in the end. Um, I will try to go for popper, especially because I don't like any of these. Let's take the max HP instead. And then I will take the curse key to make it more likely that I'll get curses. Gain energy at the start of your turn. One of you open a non boss chest to obtain a curse. Okay. I didn't get Astrolabe, right? So it might be still a big challenge to remove uh, four of the ruptures at least. Ideally, I'd remove five. Two two lead paths. Uh, I'll start on the right. If I first go left or in the middle, I guess, I'll get one, two, three. F oh, just three question mark rooms. If I start on the right, I'll also get three question mark rooms. Okay. Both paths converge here, so up until that point on the left, I'll get one extra rest site. On the right, I'll also get an extra rest site. Okay, I think the paths are pretty much identical. The rest sites and the elites are on the same floor. Yeah, so it's really different on the order of question mark rooms. Let's go on the left, then that way I'll get early question mark rooms out of the way. Okay, um, let's do cool headed. Um, I guess I can do, uh, yeah, just play all of these. Mm hmm. All right, another 10 incoming. I can do Vigilance. I don't even need to play the Endless Agony. Actually, wait, should I do Crescendo Endless Agonies? No, that doesn't make sense. Let's do Vigilance and then play the Ruptures. Okay. There's no reason to play the Endless Agonies if I can't even get through the block. Uh, yeah, Hyper Beam is much better. Let's do a little dangerous. Wait, this is, is this 52 plus another. Wait, let me just combine them. 35, 70. I need 83. I think I only have 82, right? Wait, let me make sure. So 35 plus 6 is 41. That's 82. And I need to deal 83 damage. So I don't think entering playing entering Wrath is... Actually, I can exit Wrath too. All right, fine. Let's do Crescendo, Hyper Beam, Eruption, Strike, and then play the Tranquility. So I'll take a bunch of damage, but at least I'll be able to easily kill next turn with something like Ball Lightning and a Strike. Good. Okay, uh, perfect the strike, acrobatics, indignation. I think I'll take the indignation. Actually, acrobatics might have been good because I do have a lot of energy at this point. Didn't get a curse, but I got molten egg. One of you add an attack into deck upgraded. Very good. And then remove a card, or actually, I could remove a rupture. Upgrading all strikes and offense is good, but let's start removing things. Let's remove one rupture at least. Okay. And then remove another rupture for 75 gold. That's a lot of gold, but fine. I mean, I have to go for the Highlander modifier, right? I just need to remove two more ruptures, which seems good. Uh, full of defend here and play a rupture. I wish I saw, at least if I saw an offering, I would give up on Popper because then with the ruptures, it'll be pretty good. Uh, here I just do Crescendo Hyper Beam. Okay. All right, Bowling Bash, Sanctity, Body Slam. Bowling Bash is pretty good. Sanctity might be better, though, for card draw. Okay. And then Slavers. I need the Hyper Beam here. All right, that was really lucky. That happy beam allowed me to perfect a lot of fights. We got Smiley Mask, the Merchant's Contra Move Service. Now always costs 50 gold. That's really good. Whirlwind, Ghostly Armor, Tactician. Definitely not Tactician. Whirlwind might be good. I have the energy. Let's take it. Ghostly Armor would have been a good block card, but I feel like I have enough block cards. Let me next upgrade. I don't want to upgrade the hyper beam if I know I'm going to remove it. Let's upgrade the dash. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where's my final boss, by the way? Collector. Okay, so hyper beam might still be very useful there. Centurion and Mystic. Another Hyper Beam here. I mean, I'm a fan. Let's do Crescendo, then Hyper Beam. 
And then I can kill with a strike. Good. Okay, Bullseye Terror, Blade Dance. Blade Dance seems pretty good unless I get the um, the um, Time Eater at the end. We got a Wrath as well as Ink Bottle. Whenever you play 10 cards, draw one card. The Wrath does make my opening hand a little worse. Just a little. Alright, let's do... Do I want to do Crescendo? No, let me do Blade Dance, then Sanctity. Okay. Um, I mean, I could do Crescendo and then Exit Wrath with the Tranquility. Uh, let's do Strike, Shiv, 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 and another Shiv. And then I think I'll do Tranquility. And to be able to fully defend, let's play the Dodge and Roll as well. Okay. That was not too bad. I dealt a good amount of damage. All right, 12. Yeah, Hyper Beam kills. Oh, I thought it would kill the Frontliner. All right, let's just do this, and then I'll just, you know, kill next turn with any attack card. Maybe I'll play a few cards just to get the Ink Bottle closer to 10, and then just kill here. Good. Okay, uh, Foreign Influence, shrug it off. Sash Whip, definitely the Foreign Influence. I would love to get that upgraded soon, too. I think I should remove another rupture. Yeah, let's not let's not delay on that. Remove the rupture. Uh, in terms of relics, oddly smooth one is fine. Medical kit not super necessary. Not a huge fan of any of the cards either. Flurry of blows is not a bad idea because I do switch senses often enough. Let's take the flurry of blows. Also, it's very cheap. And then why don't I take clothesline because I have the um, I have the energy. And then in terms of relics, let's take. I think oddly smooth one is better. So I just come with one dexterity. Yep. Okay, that was a decent shot. Alright, I think next I should upgrade the Foreign Influence. Yeah, that, that is a huge value added when upgraded. Okay. Alright, Book of Stabbing. I do have a block potion here. Uh, Clothline is not enough. Let me see what I draw with the ink bottle. Ooh, perfect. Dodge and roll. That's really good. And then double strike. Oh, one strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. 12 incoming. I have 10 already. Blur is perfect. Let's do blur. Empty body defend and uh wait so if i lose 12 i have 30 i have 18 next turn that should be enough with the weakness right so i don't need to play another defend yeah 15 was enough too uh do i want to do crescendo whirlwind no that's not going to be enough right wait if i do crescendo it'll be 31 incoming i have 22 with the halt that'll be enough right so i think i can do crescendo then play the halt all right then do dagger throw and then whirlwind all right too bad i didn't draw the dash might be hard to exit Wrath next turn. Unless you get something like Hyper Beam. Awesome. Um, yeah, let's do Indignation. Here, hang on. Double Energy, Indignation, and then a Hyper Beam. Awesome. All right, perfect. This one, we got a Blood Vial at the Savage Combat Heal 2 HP, as well as a Flex Potion. And, I mean, Bloodletting would finally help with the Rupture. Yeah, sure. It's also extra energy. Not that I necessarily need it, but if I draw it together with the um, Whirlwind, that might be good. Okay, not being attacked here. I think I'll risk entering Wrath here. Let's do Crescendo. Then dash. Uh, wait, I need 60. I only have uh, 54. All right, fine. Let's let's kill the sentry then. So I'll do dash and clothesline. Okay. Mm -hmm. 20 incoming. I, I don't think I need indignation. Let's do dagger throw. I might lose a lot of HP here. For an influence gives me a clothesline. Okay. And then, wait. So I have 11. I don't think I can fully defend. I also don't think I can kill. Can I? Uh, 30. No, I need more than that. Um, let's just do strike and defend. So I'll take a little bit of damage here, but I hopefully will be able to deal 30 damage next turn. Yeah, especially with the whirlwind. Good. Okay, I got another flex potion, which I don't think I'll take. I already have this. Let's take... I don't really need zero cost cards, but fine. Let's take slice. It's better than the flechettes. Okay, next upgrade. I don't know. Should I give in an upgrade the hyper beam, even though I'm planning to remove it? Yeah, fine. I mean, it's fine, right? It, it does. It did help me a lot so far, so hopefully it'll continue to help me. Ooh, it is very tempting to do crescendo indignation, but then I'm really worried about next turn. Let me drink the power potion here. Foresight, creative eye, nirvana. Okay, because I have foresight, I'm willing to risk it. So let's do crescendo indignation. And then uh, this is 24. I'll actually drink the Flex Potion as well to deal 39 times 4, which is a lot of damage. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, I am being attacked. Luckily, I do have a Vigilance next turn. That should help. Um, yeah, so I can do Vigilance, Empty Body. All right, and then... Flirt. Wait, I need to deal... I need to get 32 block. I have 22 right now. I might need to use my Block Potion, which is fine. 
So let's do blue, Flurry of Blows, Ball Lightning, Strike. Might as well play the Defend. And yeah, have to drink the, the, the potion. Mm -hmm. All right. And I look like, luckily, I'm not being attacked here. I have Eruption Halt. That is fine. I don't think I need the Blur here. So let's see what the Sanctity gives me. Cool Headed Dagger Throw. Okay, so I can do Eruption Halt to be fully defended. Wait, uh, Dagger Throw will be not enough. All right, so actually, I had a Flurry of Blows, right? So I should... Wait, let me make sure. Yeah, so I should get that back. So let's do Eruption U. Then Halt. Actually, I have fully defended. I can just target the Backliner. Should I? No, no, no. I don't think I'll have... Unless I draw the Hyper Beam, I don't think I'll be able to fully defend next turn. So let's kill at least one of the minions with Dagger Throw. And then I'll do Flurry of Blows. Okay. All right, let's hope I don't get attacked next turn. And I'm not being attacked next turn. Good, so let's focus on damage. Do have 20 incoming. Okay, Blade Dance is pretty good. Uh, let's do Slice. Endless Agonies. Actually, I probably should have... Let's do Blade Dance first. Okay, so one, two... I th unfortunately, I have to do... F well, let's, let's do a Strike here, okay. Then play two more Shivs. One more Endless Agony, and hopefully I get... Double Energy is not very useful. Might as well do Rupture here. Ooh, Foreign Influence gives me Palm Strike Beam Cell. Carve Reality is pretty good. Okay. I think that might be... Oh, no, the enemy is not going to be vulnerable next turn. And I'll be weakened too, right? And I'm being attacked. Luckily, I got the Hyper Beam. I think that should be enough, right? 51. And I can gain Strength with the Bloodletting, finally. All right. Awesome. Perfected this one. Very happy with how that went. Also, definitely worth... Uh, yeah, worth entering Wrath at the beginning. That definitely helped. All for one doppelganger malaise. I am still trying to hang on to the chance of going for Popper. Even though... Wait, would all for one be really good? I actually don't have that many zero cost cards. Foreign influence, flurry of blows, and... Actually, no. Foreign influence exhaust. So it's just flurry of blows and the halt. I don't think I need that. Yeah, let's take the max HP and move on. Okay, so I have extra energy, so I don't need the... Actually, none of these are energy relics. Do I want black star? I think Calling Bell is better. I'll pick up between Unique Curse and three Relics. That helps me get the Curse Modifier too. We got Curse of the Bell as well as Potion Belt. I'll pick up, gain two Potion Slots. Kunai every time play three attacks in a single turn, gain one Dexterity. And Old Coin up and pick up, gain 300 Gold. So now I have four Unique Curses. Doubt, Injury, Wraith, and the Curse of the Bell. So I just need one more Curse from the Treasure Chest that's not one of those three. Um, so it's a you know 70% chance I might get the Curse Modifier and the Highland Modifier if I can remove the Rupture, of course. Alright, there's, um, yeah, multiple two elite paths, they all merge here, so I'm glad I didn't take Black Star, because that would only have given me three relics, Black Star plus two extra relics, whereas the Column Bell gave me four relics total. So if I go on the left, I'll get one, two, three, four question mark rooms, but no shop. If I go in the middle, I'll get one, two, three, four, five question mark rooms, also no shop. On the right side, I'll get one, two, three, four, five... Six question mark rooms, no shop, but I can skip two question mark rooms to go for this guaranteed shop. Risky, but I think I have to do it. I'm actually guaranteed to get... Wait, is there a shop on the second part? No, there isn't. So I'm guaranteed to get another curse here. So I think it's fine to skip question mark rooms. I don't need to do question mark rooms to get curses, right? So yeah, I'll definitely go for the shop, I think. All right, 11 incoming. Let me see what I get here. Oh, awesome. I'm very happy with how often Hypermune is showing up on turn one. Oh, was that... Wait, did I get the overkill modifier? Um, I think I did, right? Because it was 68 with 50% uh, more. Yeah, yeah, I got the overcome modifier. Cool. This is it rebound or cut through fate? Cut through fate is really good. Let's take that. Okay. And then orb walker. Um, crescendo is not going to be enough, right? That's 12, 48, 90. Uh, wait, 48 is enough. Yeah, that's 96 exactly, right? Awesome. All right. Got a skill potion. Bouncing fast. Talk to the end is really good. I don't think I need beam cell that badly. And then, ooh, two normalities. A lot of gold that would allow me to clear up the next shop. I think what I'll do is I'll take the normalities and then I'll skip the treasure chest because this guarantees a unique curse. Let's do it. It does mean, oh, wait, it does mean I won't be able to remove the rupture. <gasps> Did I mess up? I might have messed up there. Uh-oh. I might have messed up there. I didn't think of that. Well, let's see. I mean, I just have to figure out a way to remove the extra rupture. Ah, uh, boy. All right. Um, Let's do... I'm taking a lot of damage here. Let's do ball lightning. I don't think I need bloodletting, actually. Unless I can trigger the ink bottle. Not really. 
Yeah, I'll just accept the damage. I have to be a little careful because I don't have a lot of HP. All right, talk to the end is good. for an influence. Sunder for free is nice. Actually, I think here I can do Crescendo because the dash... Oh, no. Uh, it's the worst. All right, well, at least I don't have to worry about the normalities anymore. A little worried about my uh, HP situation, though. All right, let's do Hyper Beam. Late Dance. Lady Shivs. Then um, I guess I'll do a strike to get extra decks. Okay. Hmm. It's a lot of incoming. I don't think I can kill here. Let's do cut through fate. Um, slice is fine. I don't think I need the flurry of blows. Let's do slice. Then vigilance. Actually, let's do dagger throw first. Okay. Then vigilance. Okay. Halt is nice. Vigilance allows me to play the flurry of blows, and um, I, I guess this this doesn't matter too much. All right, I can do Eruption and Ignition for Vulnerability. Clothline, and hopefully I'll have enough to kill next turn. The enemy is vulnerable too, because otherwise I'll be in trouble. Yeah, Hyper Beam does it. Yeah, definitely gives me the Overkill modifier. All right, we got a Flex Potion, Endless Agony, Unload, Odd Maneuver. I already have this. This is a rare card. I think I'll go with the Odd Maneuver. Not that I really needed it, but fine. All right, um, let's first remove the extra normality. And then just buy everything, right? We've got Toolbox. At the start of each combat, choose one of three random colors cards and add the chosen card to your hand. Toxic Egg, whenever you add a skill into your deck, upgraded. And Bloodstone, up and pick up okay, two random attacks. Let me first grab cards. Flash of Steel is good. Aretha Flame is probably not necessary. Compile Driver. I mean, at most, it'll give me one card draw, but fine. Flex is probably not necessary. Let's take the Bloodstone, up and pick up okay, two random attacks. That's two strikes upgraded. And then I can buy all the potions. I will even buy a regen potion. And you know what? No, no, I don't think I need a Smoke Bomb. I also don't think I need any of the cards, although I am close to getting 50 cards. No, I still have two question mark rooms. I really hope one of them is a shop. Well, the next one cannot be the shop. Lose so much gold. I mean, if I take this, there's no way I can remove a card, If even if I get a shop. But let's take it. A red mask at the storage combat apply one week to all enemies. And I could get a curse here. I don't want to. I might as well lose max HP. Okay. And I have to skip the treasure chest too, right? Oh boy, I'm putting a lot of faith in that last question mark room there. Mm. Am I getting attacked here? I am not, so I guess I can take transportation. Why not? Okay, well, now I know why not. Uh, if I do... Wait, this is 12 with the crescendo. Uh, so 48, uh, 96. I think I'll drink the flex potion because then it will be, uh, you know, a lot of damage. Just license enough to kill. Yeah. We got Ice Cream Energy is now conserved between turns, which is good. Cool-Headed Protect. I mean, if I'm not going for Popper, Actually, I'm not going for Handlander either at this point. Yeah, it's going to be too difficult to remove the um, Hyper Beam. So let's just take the Vault here. Yep. And then... So... The thing is... I... The only reason I would want to open this is to see if I had rejected the normalities. If I still would have been able to get Unique um, Curses. And yeah, I'm sort of giving up on the hope that I can remove the, the rupture and that in that question mark room. So let's just take it. Okay, so I did get a duplicate wraith. So it was right to take a normality instead. All right, fine. We got Centennial Puzzle. The first time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Okay. So I, I have officially given up on Highlander, which is a bit of a bummer because I was close. Four Thought, Good Instincts, or Mayhem. Uh, let's take the Good Instincts, I guess. All right. And let's see if the backflip gives me anything good. Uh, yeah, I guess I can do... Actually, I could do Crescendo Indignation Vigilance to apply Vulnerability, but I think that's a little too much. Let's defend here. Okay. I think I might just wait for the Hyper Beam here. That might might make my life easier. All right, 23. Um, ooh, I can do Rupture Bloodletting. Look at that. gaining. Oh, actually, I have to be careful. I might I might lose, because I, I don't have a lot of HP left. Um, do I want to do... I have the Tranquility, right? Let's do Crescendo. So I have to be careful not to draw the... Um, the... Uh, what do you call it? Normality again. Compile driver. Talk to the hand. Endless agonies. Actually, let's do this. And then endless agony. Cool headed. And eruption. Okay, should be able to kill next turn. Don't need much. Uh, yeah, flurry of blows and dagger throws enough. Good. Okay, dagger throw, deadly poison, dodge and roll. Already have these two. Probably don't need. Actually, I do need to pick up cards to get to 50 cards faster. So let's take the deadly poison as, as little as it will be useful. Uh, Apotheosis is nice. Mind Blast is not a bad idea. Let's take the Apotheosis. I think that's better. Because I can do things like Apotheosis and then gain the energy back with the Miracle. 
Uh, let's do cool headed and then whirlwind with crescendo is not going to be enough, right? Because that'll be 12 times three. Actually, I think that will be enough. Yep. All right. Um, and then here, all attack, perfect the strike of flex. I don't think I need flex or perfect the strike. Let's take the all out attack. And okay, well, I could get another curse here if I want to. Mind plus is not a bad idea at this point. Um, yes, let's take the mind blast. Okay. Also gets me to 50 cards. Follow up is not a bad idea either. Yeah, let's take follow up. All right. So I wasn't able to get. So the problem is, even if I didn't take the Highlander here, the, the, the normalities here, I would have had a duplicate curse here. So there's no way for me to get the Highlander modifier. I guess one mistake I made is if I had removed one of the ruptures on act, um, on act one in that shop where I didn't remove anything. It might have been it might have been better, but not much I can do about that. Wait, do I want to upgrade something or do I want to rest here? Because I'll I'll have the um I have the dream catcher, so I could grab a card and also heal a little bit. No, I think I'll risk it. Yeah, let's upgrade the eruption. Okay. Alright. And then here I got the giant head. Master of Strategy, Enlightenment, the bomb. I'm not being attacked. I could play the bomb, I guess. That's a good amount of damage. Um let's do crescendo. Uh, yeah, let's do Crescendo, the bomb, and then Mind Blast for 165. That's not too bad. Actually, let me also drink the Regen Potion here. Yeah, that way I don't have to heal. Yeah. Well, hopefully I won't have to heal. Still not getting attacked. That's good. There's a Hyper Beam. That's very nice. Let's do Blade Dance. Play the... Actually, um, do I want to do Backflip first? I have 9 cards. Let's do 1 Shiv, then do Backflip. I hope I don't draw the Normality. Okay, good. And then I can play the attack. So let's do the shivs. Then compile driver. And then the hyper beam 86. Okay, that's not that's not amazing, but it's fine. Okay. 26 incoming. Yes, I was hoping to exit Wrath here. Uh, let's do Flash of Steel Slice. And then I can do Ball Lightning. Um all out attack might get rid of the vigilance, right? So let's play the vigilance first and then do all out attack. Okay. I do I need bloodletting? Not really. No. I don't have the ruptures active anyway. Oh, and the bomb dealt some damage too. Good. Okay, I'll do Flurry of Blows Eruption. Flurry of Blows again. Follow up. I should have played the rupture first. I would dealt a little bit extra damage. Can I deal 49 damage? Because otherwise I'll be in trouble. Um I might be able to No, 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 wait. I can't. I don't think I can. I can exit Wrath though, that's good. So let's do, let's do dash first. No, deadly poison first, then dash, then empty body. Okay, that way I'm fully defended. Flurry of blows, blur, and I can. Well, let's do cut through fate. Um, I'll take the strike. Yeah, sure. Actually, that is enough to kill with the uh, poison. Good. Okay, perfected this one. We got Pendip. Every tenth attack ability deals double damage, as well as a weakness potion. I guess another weakness potion, and I guess I can do empty mind for card draw. Okay, what to upgrade here? Um, blur, halt, double damage, or double energy. Uh, let's do the backflip. Yeah, extra block, extra card draw. Okay, so I end up having two ruptures and two normality, uh, two uh, writhes, with the which is unfortunate. I will take the mind plus here. I think that's pretty good. Ooh, wait, can I kill here? 70, 140, times two is 280, times 18. I am so close to being able to kill. Can I? Let me see what this gives me. Burst, deflect, or hologram. I could hologram a mind blast. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. So let's kill on turn one. Let's do crescendo. Mm -hmm. Then mind blast one. Mind blast two. Actually, yeah. And then this. Wait, the strike was enough. Why did I need a hologram? Uh, let me reload mostly because uh, I don't want to use the skill potion if I don't have to. Uh, and then I also want to check why I made my uh, why I did my math incorrectly. So let's take the mind plus here. Okay. So this is seventy, right? Oh, with vulnerability, it's not going to be just doubled. It's going to be doubling. And uh, wait. Right. So it's not doubling the seventies. Doubling the forty-seven, or uh, yeah, doubling the forty-seven. So that's eighty or ninety-four. And then applying duplication on that. So 100... Wait. Okay, I guess I'm not playing this potion. Yeah, 141. Okay, it's one more. All right, so it's the same principle as... Okay, I think I got it. All right, good. So those two do make the difference. So I can do this without having to 
uh, waste my skill potion. I'll keep it for later. Although I think the options will probably still be the same. And now I have 18 coming. Oh boy. And I have a normality. Okay. Um, well, the hologram now is not going to help. Um, let's see if the cut through fate might give me a way to exit wrath. Okay, empty body. Is that going to be enough though? Empty body. Uh, throw the weakness potion. I can only play one more card. Uh, so blur is, is, is the most I can do here. Um, so I still have 40 incoming. Um, I mean, the best defensive thing I can do is to play the blur. So that's 21, 45. Okay, I'm alive, I guess. That's good. Obviously, I'm not able to perfect this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm only alive for now. Um, okay, there's the Hyper Beam. That's pretty good. Um, we'll get rid of one of the minions, at least. Um, I can play the Rupture. I don't think I really need it. Uh, let's see what the Flurry of Blows gives me. Halt. Okay. So let's do Hyper Beam. Then Halt. It's nine block. All right, Backflip. That allows me to be fully defended. Good. Flash of Steel. Strike. Okay. And then I don't think I need the Cool Headed, so might as well play the Rupture here. Okay. Mm hmm. 21. I think I might just do Vault here, right? Let's do Ball Lightning, Compile Driver, Waste Double Energy, but fine. And then do... Actually, I'm going to do Dodge and Roll and then Vault. Okay. Could have considered doing the Eruption, but that's fine. Alright, so here I have enough block with the Dash. Good, let's do that. Then Blade Dance and then play the Shiv. Okay, two extra decks that way. Good. Mm -hmm. Another 21. I don't think I need... Do I need double energy? It might not be a bad idea, especially because I have Sanctity. Alright, Foreign Influence gives me Eviscerate for free, Choke for free, or Fiendfire for free. I guess Eviscerate is a lot of damage. Choke might be better in this particular case. It might be better for me to be able to get back to it and play it again. Okay. Oh, I do need some block here. Uh, actually, one defend is enough, right? Uh, not quite. So I have 18. This will only give me 11. I mean, I don't really have another choice. Come. Okay. All right, 18 again. Let's do talk to him. That's good. Slice, dagger, throw. Oh, now I have to worry about getting a normality again. Um, I might need... Actually, I think I'll play the Vigilance. Yeah, let's just do Vigilance here. Come. Mm -hmm. Another 30. Mind Blast. That's not too bad, but I... I only have 15. At least I'm still alive, so I can't do the Bloodletting, right? So let's just do Mind Blast... Strike, uh, no, uh, defend, and all attack. Actually, thanks to the, um, thanks to the, the block return, I am able to fully defend. Or, oh, no, I'm dead. Wait, what did I miscalculate there? Well, I miscalculate something, but yeah, I don't think there was, I stood a chance, ultimately. I had too little max HP, and, uh, even if I reloaded, I'm not sure if I could have perfected. So, in the end, uh, yeah, I didn't make it to 1,000. I only perfected the Act 1 boss. No, the Act Two boss, right. Uh, perfected five out of the six at least, which is good. Did get curses, but yeah, I missed the Highland modifier. Ultimately, this is very tragic. So I, if I didn't take the normalities, so because I took the normalities, I wasn't able to remove the extra rupture. So I wasn't able to get the um, Highland modifier. If I didn't take the normalities, I would have gotten an extra duplicate curse at the chest anyway, which I did at the end. Um, so I don't think there's a way. The only way to do it is to remove the rupture on Act 1. That way, I could have removed the normality on Act 3, and that way I could have gotten Highlander. So th th theoretically, Highlander and Curses together would have been possible. I just didn't get it. And then, of course, I also died at the end. So I think if I had survived the end um, and gotten the Highlander, 1,200 would have been possible. But um, yeah, ultimately right now, it's it's not that good of a score. So Warpal got 1,209. Yeah, that, that's I, I suspect that that's what Warpal did, was able to get the Highlander modifier and the Curse modifier. Let me know in the comments if that's not the case. I'm actually surprisingly 28th. Okay, that makes me think everybody else died too. Because I don't think... Well, actually, okay, you might get the score if you survive and just, you know, don't perfect anything and do poorly. But, um, yeah, so clearly... Oh, that's 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 kind of funny. So clearly some people are able to, to you know, perfect everything. Or, or not perfect everything, survive to the end. And they probably passed the 1,000 mark. And I died, but I'm still 29th right now. I mean, I, I'll wait to see what people say in the comments and how my score looks like tomorrow. But, um this, this might be the best the best score I had while still losing. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you did if you're able to get both Christian and Highlander. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.